it's time to start working with the epoxy. Get you some gloves, some good gloves here. I get the nitrile, they're a lot easier to work with. This epoxy is the same epoxy that I use to make your um, fishing floats. For those of you who bought fishing floats from me, I use the same stuff. Um, I have some slow curing, but I'm gonna use medium cure today just so we can get it to cure a little bit faster. You're gonna start by butt blocking it, but you will need some fiberglass tape. This is three inch fiberglass tape. We're gonna have to do both sides at the same time. So here's how this is gonna work. We'll move this back. Uh, and we're gonna need to have some wax paper. Be right back. Four sawhorses, and you have this thicker piece of what was left over from when we did the cut out the bow and the transom. That's gonna serve as the bridge. And then we'll measure and lay down this tape. You mix up your epoxy as per the instructions. This is a two to one ratio between the epoxy and the hardener. Uh, your epoxy may be different depending on the brand and the type you use. You're gonna need a mixing stick or something, mixing cup. I got these mixing cups from uh, uh, Raka. And Quick Mix, uh, half a pint mixing cup, GL Enterprises. Once you have it figured out, mix, mix, mix. Maybe even take like a minute and mix it. You want every molecule of epoxy to mat find a molecule of hardener. You could thin it out if you had some, uh, I probably could thin it out with the xylene that I made that glue with. If you haven't checked that video, check that out. Okay, fellas, we're in uh, mad scientist mode this time of the year, and I'm gonna do it this way. Just gonna pour it out into that cup there. Want to wet that out, wet it out well. That, my friends, has been wetted out. And not, not, the difficult thing becomes perfectly matching. The goal now is to get these matched up perfectly as best you can. Okay. Same thing on the top side. Oh. Place another piece of uh, wax paper on top. Make sure everything's lined up well. You wanna put weights on that to weigh that down to make sure that that wood lays flat, sorry. And uh, it takes a good hold. Couple 20 pound dumbbells, old paint cans, anything. Anything to just weigh it down like that. Now the final dimensions of the boat are gonna depend on how you join the pieces together. If you butt block them together, you'll get a longer boat. If you scarf things together, in other words, you lay one block on top of the other and then take a grinder and sh shave them both down even and then, and then fold them together like that, you'll end up with a slightly shorter boat. You know, maybe like a couple of inches. It's hard to tell exactly how long the boat's gonna be until you actually build it. <laughs> right, before it rains, let's go check it out and see how that joint turned out. My friends! I was concerned about that gouge there, but we're gonna fill that in with wood epoxy there, but that is hard as a rock. And that's the bottom of the boat, guys. If you like these videos, consider supporting me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Also consider the Thai Longtail Boat Building class on Teachable.